Hi there. So today morning when I turned on the TV, I was very surprised to see the new Android TV interface. Frankly, the previous interface had become extremely monotonous even with all the updates. Like the Android TV 11 OS didn't look any different from Android TV 9 or even the Android TV 10. The feel and the experience was practically the same. Now we have this new carousel effect on the home page making full use of the real estate. And I have to admit, it's a welcome change. Also I won't shy away from saying it's clearly inspired from Xiaomi's Patchwall and Amazon's Fire TV interface. It's focusing on assisting users in discovering new content. Now I know you have a lot of questions, how do I get it? Which Android TV will support it? Does it make the experience any better? What are all the changes? Well, don't worry, that's what I'm here for. I'll take you through all of them, but before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Tech Singh. Let's get started. All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Which TVs will be getting this update? Well, all Android TVs running Android TV 9 and above will be receiving this update. Now I've checked this on my 55-inch Mi QLED TV which is running Android TV 10. In fact, this is where I first discovered the update. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Then here's my 3-year-old 43-inch Mi TV 4A. It's running Android TV 9 which has also received the new interface update. Works really smoothly. Then I specially unboxed the View Premium TV which too is running Android TV 9 OS and has received the new Android TV interface update. It's amazing. Now the big question, how to get it? Well, the upgrade is done on its own in the background. All you need to do is make sure that your TV is already updated. You can check it in the about settings in system updates. But yes, also make sure your TV is connected to a stable internet connection. Now currently we have seen this update in India, in Brazil and Europe. Now I'm sure this is a phase wise rollout so other countries should see this soon. Now let's check out the changes. First is definitely the content carousel effect on the home page and this makes good use of the space. Previously, it was like too much empty blank space. You can swipe left or right to browse through. If you hold, it turns full screen and you can still browse through the same tabs again. Now these carousels will keep changing after a few hours or days depending on what's trending and what's new. Further the apps row, now it begins all the way from the extreme left, unlike previously it had an app launcher icon first. So now to access all the apps on your TV just go to the top apps tab and here you can find all the installed apps. You can add any of these to the home page by pressing and holding over the icon and selecting add to favorites. There you go. Back to home page the content rows below also starting from the extreme left making good use of the space. Here's what it looked like before. That's too much unutilized space. What do you think so? But what if you have to adjust them up or down? go towards the left and slide up or down there you go now if you want to add or remove a specific content row go all the way down customize your home screen you can now turn on or off whatever you need super simple moving to the discover tab on the top now it will ask you to log in with your google id and ask you to choose from which apps you want recommendations from now i've selected prime videos apple tv and disney hotstar and i hope to see more app integration soon Anyway, click confirm, setting up personalized recommendation, starting from the top, starting with top picks. You can actually even improve your recommendations by coming here, liking or disliking from the list. Further below, thriller, trending on Google, drama, action films, crime shows, sci-fi films, comedies, recommended videos from YouTube. This will only get better with time as it will learn what you watch and what you don't. Rest everything is very familiar, same settings, exactly same input options and the same Google Voice Assistant as well. Also worth mentioning, the new interface has much smoother animations, but it's not as fast or snappy as compared to the previous one. At least yet, but it's not a big deal, though we can only see it getting better from here. The new interface is like a marriage between Android TV OS and the Google TV. move in the right direction and a much needed one from the dull android tv interface that we've been seeing so far now i haven't checked it but i'm quite sure we'll see this very soon on the mi box and the mi tv stick as well i'll keep you posted about that 
So this was it guys. As for more changes and updates are pushed, I shall keep you updated about it as well. If you find something that I've missed out, write down in the comments and share it with all of us. Also let me know if you have got the update or not and if you have, did you like it or not. Feedback is always welcome. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like because it makes a difference. Subscribe because it's really important for me to know that you're liking my videos even more. Until next time, cheers.